Dear future husband, I'm not going to write a long letter today, but I just wanted to let you know that I am praying for you. I'm praying for favor like never before. I'm praying that when you meet me, when I meet you, that the Lord would give you favor, that you would know that I am the one, that you would know that I am the rib that's missing. I pray that you hate sin with a passion and that you love God with all your being that the Lord uses you in the gifts that he's given you and that you submit your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God because it is your reasonable service that you present your body, your soul, most importantly, your heart, that the Lord would purify your heart and that you would have a heart of a shepherd, a heart to be one of the few laborers because the harvest is plentiful. And I pray that the Lord uses my gifts to help you in fulfilling your calling in the ministry when we meet. I pray so much for you and I just wanna let you know that I am being loyal and faithful to you, not having met the man of my dreams. Only in my dreams and in my visions do I know a glimpse of what it will be. I know you're gonna mean everything to me. That I will see Christ in you and you will see Christ in me that our eyes would be a reflection of our Lord Jesus Christ, a reflection of God himself, that as we look into each other's eyes, we will see the God that is in us, that our eyes would sparkle when we look at each other. I pray so much for you day and night. I can't wait to meet you. But I am patient because love is patient and love dwells in me. I do want to let you know that I am not looking at any other men in this world. That my eyes are fixated on our Lord Jesus Christ. And he has it where that's all that matters to me right now. So that when I meet you, he will still be number one because you and I will make him number one. And I just wanna let you know that we are going to slay giants. We are gonna slay devils. We're gonna pray for one another. I will cover you in prayers, covering you already that the Lord would keep the enemy away from you. That the Lord would keep the enemy away from you as far as possible so that you can continue in your calling as the Lord strengthens you, that you would stay steadfast in the faith, that you would love the word of God like never before, that the Lord would equip you with the word so that when we meet, we will wash one another. But I will covet that I want you to do more washing. And I will promise that my submission to you will be as unto the Lord, as a beautiful living sacrifice, as a beautiful aroma that the Lord will smell of a sacrificial giving love. And I will do it with pleasure. It will be as if we are on heaven on earth. That's my, that's my um, prayer. And um, I want us to be a living testimony of a good marriage that's gonna last forever. That uh, we will work through every single issue. We will bring the Lord to our problems 
that we would pray for one another and cover one another in love because the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all unrighteousness and we will bring the blood of Jesus into every circumstance because he saves us. He saves us every single day. And we will walk in that grace. We'll put on that armor of God and we'll fight for one another. I will fight for you. So until we meet at his feet, your beloved Marine.